Yo, what's up guys, my name is Mr. Freeze 2244 and welcome back to the Suits Showcase. In this video, I'll be covering the tactical suits. I'll be showing you all of them individually and I'm going to be showing or explaining how to get each one of these suits available for Hitman 3 or Hitman World of Assassination is what it might be called now if you're watching this in the future. If you missed any videos that I've covered on this series so far, there'll be a link in the description of the full playlist and there'll be a drop down card on the screen right now in the top right corner or there will be a link at the end of the year credits as well. So there's three options there. You can check out the full playlist of different categories for each suit. So for this one, we're going to be covering the tactical suits. So let's get into it. First on the list is the tactical wetsuit. This was first initially released in Hitman 2. Uh, it was the default suit during the Nightcore mission for Hawks Bay. And I think you managed to unlock this eventually by playing the Mills Reverie Escalation, which is the Halloween Escalation. I'm not sure if that still is the case for Hitman 3, but uh, you'd have to check it out yourself to find out for sure. A full body wetsuit in black, grade A foamed neoprene with complementary charcoal tactical pants and boots. Provides thermal insulation and blends in nicely with the environment at night time. So this kind of suit kind of reminds me of uh, Splinter Cell, the very first game. He wore an outfit similar to this, um, as a sneaking suit, but yeah, this is, this is what I quite like about that. Second on the list is basically the same wetsuit, it's called the Gorilla Wetsuit. Again, a full body wetsuit made of compression resistant neoprene paired with camo print pants. Provides excellent thermal insulation and is ideal for amphibious infiltration of jungle environments. You unlock this by complete getting to mastery level 20 on Ambrose Island, which is the latest map to be released uh, for Hitman 3 as of now. Um, but yeah, this uh, this is an easier way to acquire it, I suppose, than doing the match. Well, maybe not. I think the escalation is actually a better way of getting this suit and I think the other one's better than this one as well so yeah if I was going to choose between the two wetsuits I'd choose the initial tactical wetsuit of this one but yeah let's get to marriage level 20 on Ambrose on to get this Number three is the tactical turtleneck, and it's a black turtleneck and pants, well suited to both comfort and mobility. This is mainly the suits I I main now. I usually use this uh, for the starts of missions, really. Um, yeah, kind of like use this as my default suit for the past year or so. And it's really easy to unlock as well. You, all you need to do is complete the final test just once, and once you do that, you unlock this uh, suit. It's called the turtleneck challenge, tactical turtleneck challenge which is just complete the final test and you want to log this suit and you can use it across any of the maps. And I quite like it. Fourth on the list is the Raven suit. I used to mean this quite a lot in Hitman 1. Uh, it says, uh, where tactical meets practical and stylish, you will find the Raven suit. Black and charcoal with the finest gloves and pockets for every tool required on site. It looks like you've got motorcycle gloves there, if I'm not mistaken. Could be completely wrong there, but yeah. I just, uh, I used to like this quite a lot in Hitman 1. In Hitman 2, this sort of, it sort of looked a little bit different. And in Hitman 3, again, it looks a little bit different again. I'm not sure what it is That's that makes it look so different, but I don't know. I In Hitman 1 as well, when you stood still with a suit on, you almost give like a sort of uh, superhero pose, which I quite liked as well about it. And I don't think he does that anymore. But I don't think you can actually unlock this in Hitman 3 anymore either, because I think it was only a part of the uh, Hitman 1 game of the year, which you then transfer over to Hitman 2, and then you transfer from Hitman 2 to Hitman 3, 
and you'll be able to get the suit. But as of now, I'm not sure if we're going to unlock this suit anymore. Next is the tactical gear with the hunter's hat. And this is quite a rare suit as well. It's a tactical turtleneck, jacket and ballistic gloves with all weather hunter's hat. Full length tactical pants. That's all they have in the description. You unlock this, you might recognise this first of all from Colorado, but without the hat. And if you want it with the hat and actually use it across all the locations, you need to complete a looser target in Colorado itself. So you've only got the bookkeeper and the chameleon. So if either of those two elusive targets pop up for you in Hitman, um, make sure to do it and you'll be able to get this suit here. That's the only way to unlock this outfit currently. But um, yeah, I quite like it. I usually use this um, whenever the tactical turtleneck isn't appropriate. So when it's more of a colder environment of the map, I would tend to use this one instead of the tactical turtleneck. It's just the same, but with a coat. Also, not many people will know, but my logo, my Mr. Freeze 2244 logo, was actually inspired by this outfit. So yeah, there's a little Easter egg for you. Finally, for the tactical suits, is the Freedom Phantom suit. This was initially first unlocked in Hitman 1. All you had to do to unlock it was basically create a link, an active IO Interactive account within game. So create an IO Interactive account within the main menus of the Hitman, and you'll be able to unlock this suit along with two others as well. So, this is, is as a description take command and fight for freedom in a suit that is equal parts charismatic and rebellious. I'm pretty sure this is the uh, one of the outfits from Freedom Fighters, an old IO Interactive game from many years ago. But um, it's one of those rare suits that people don't really tend to use. I certainly don't use it. I don't really like the look of it, personally. But uh, that's just personal taste for me. I don't, I'm not a big fan of it, really. So that's going to do it for this video, so thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Which one's your favourite suit out of this list here so far? Also, if you missed any suit videos I've covered so far in these showcases, there'll be a link right after these credits right here. And also there's a link in the description of the full playlist. Shout out to Paul at Home, Bedry, Mark Davis, Constantine Mueller, Wandering Wendy and Andrew Phillips for becoming top tier Psycho Assassin members. I really do appreciate it. If you want to join my agency and become a Psycho Assassin member yourself, Click the link in the description for all the details or click the join button below next to the subscribe button. If you haven't subscribed already, click subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.